Hi everyone, it's Haley of Moth Child Cosplay here, and welcome to my second vlog! Yay! I didn't get a whole lot done this week, but I'm still going to cover it all, and we're gonna start once again with this majestic creature behind me. Last time that you guys saw this, it actually didn't have either of the sleeves on it, and one of the sleeves was still unfinished. That one sleeve was still done after kind of working on and on and off for over three weeks. Between now and the last time that I spoke to you guys, I managed to not only finish that one sleeve, but to get the entire other sleeve, get both of the sleeves sewn on, and then fill in all the gaps with my chainmail. So now the majority of my chainmail is complete. All that's really left is to fill in the front pieces, the neck, and do some touch-ups on the stuff back here. I am so excited to finally put this project away, go out and take some photos, and just not ever have to look at it again. I love it. It's going to be a wonderful addition to my costume collection, but oh my god. The amount of time that I have spent. I have gone through three seasons of Game of Thrones sewing scales onto this. I need something new. <laughs> So what I was doing during the time that I was not sewing the scales on, I went back and started picking up a little bit more embroidery. And anytime that I can find an excuse to embroider on a costume, I do. Um, and I'm not really sure if I like how this is coming out. These are the boots from my Grey Warden set. This is the little neat cap. There's like a weird shell pattern. And technically I think it's supposed to be like painted leather or layers of different colored leathers, but I just felt like this might be a nice little kind of rustic touch. I'm gonna play around with it. It is glued on, but I mean, it's E6000, so if I really wanted to, I could remove it. I'm gonna sit with this for like another week or two, and then maybe if I, if I end up really hating it, I'll make it again. And then when I wasn't working on the boot covers, I was working on my favorite piece of the entire Grey Warden Battle Mage set. And it's actually the only reason that I wanted to make this piece in the first place, the Griffin Pauldron. Right here is where this bad boy is gonna go. I did all of this work just so I could put a fucking griffin on my shoulder. I typically do not like to use Warbla. I think Warbla is overpriced and you just don't get a lot out of it. But in this case, I decided to use it. There are one, two, three different layers of craft foam that I carefully cut out. Then I covered all the pieces in Warbla so that way they would be nice and sturdy, like. The one thing that I do really like about Warbla is just how durable it is. Look at this. Nothing, it's okay. So once I, you know, shaped it with my warbla and I got it into the shape that I wanted, I took my puff paint and I started tracing out some feathers. This is not the final paint job. I like to give everything a quick spray of the Crayolin Triple Thick Glaze spray paint. I feel like it self levels and it's uh, easier to work with than filler primer. Completely separate from my Grey Ward and stuff. This is the silicon mold for children. Oh my God. Never in my life have I ever cast anything out of silicone. So this project was super, super daunting. To kind of make it easier for myself, I went onto Amazon and I got two boxes of Smooth On's Umu 30 liquid rubber. This stuff is in Incredible. Um, you get two parts. Part one is a very, very bright hot pink color. Part two is a very bright electric blue color. When you mix the two together, you get this lovely periwinkle. And when you see this color while you're mixing, that's when you know it's ready. The Umu 30 takes about six hours. So if you're in a rush, I don't really recommend it. But if you have time like me, go for it. So the instructions are very, very easy. What you get is awesome. It's A+. Plus. I'm so incredibly excited for Children. There was a while where like I was not touching Children because I was just so overwhelmed with like, oh my gosh, I have to spend $80 and then like what if I screw up? But this has made me a lot more confident and I am so excited to cast this in resin. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so cool! Ah! Hopefully, children will be done by the next time I see you guys so I can do a bit of a project wrap up and show it off before I mail it out. And if it's not, that's okay. We'll talk about Grey Warden stuff. And if that's all done, which fingers crossed, it'll be done by next week, we can move on to my exciting project for KatsuCon 2018. Yes, I'm so pumped. If you like my videos, go ahead and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Comment if you want. If you don't, I don't really care. It's your life, live it. Follow me on Facebook, facebook.com slash mothchildcc or type mothchild cosplay and creations into that search bar. On Instagram, I'm found at mothchy1d. So it's mothchild with the L as a one. Anyway, uh, thank y'all so much for watching this. I will see y'all next Wednesday. <laughs>